Hello again, this is Madan. In the previous demo, we added our notification controller and uh, we created the two methods here get notification and read notification. And in this demo, we will continue Im implementing our notification feature. So, first place, I'm going to add a uh, authorize attribute here. Authorize since the notification feature is only accessed by can be only accessed by a logged in user. So, authorize. And it's in the namespace of Microsoft.ASP.NET Core.Authorization. Let's save this. And now we are going to call this method get notification method from our view. And we are going to make a Ajax call. So let's head over to our site.js file and let's write the Ajax call to call that method. So I'm going to make a function here function get notification get notification and i'm going to call this function here get notification now let's write the ajax call let's make the ajax call jquery.ajax and we need to pass the options here and the first option would be the url our url will be notification controller notification and notification slash get notification and this method doesn't require any parameter so we don't need to pass a data attribute uh, through our ajax call so let's call the method get get notification and method will be get get and if we get a success then we are going to call a function and the uh, calling method will pass us the result will give us the result in the response and uh, if we get error then we are going to log that error in the console console.log error and for now let's just log the result here and see what the method gives us from what the controller method gives us so console.log and result let's save this and let's jump back to the browser and at this point we don't have any notification now i am logged in i'm here logged in as a test one at the red gmail.com and if i click on my watch list then i have uh, one pet in my watch list dog and this pet is owned by the another user called test1 at the gmail.com and if that user changes the status of this pet uh, changes the selling status of this pet then i should get the notification so i have opened here new incognito window and logged in as the another user test1 at the gmail.com if i click on my pet then that the dog is my pet so if i change the status of this pet then i should get the notification so let's change the status of this pet and let's go back to the browser and we have logged the notification in our console so let's open the console and let's refresh and here we got the response the response is coming from the ajax call that we made made to notification slash get notification and we got the, the error here saying that the incomplete chunked uh, error incomplete chunked encoding and this is because of something called uh, circular re error reference while parsing the json so let's fix that error first let's head over to the google and let's search for the json circular reference error spnet core mbc and uh, if i click on this first link here then i get a piece of code here and what this does is it tells the json that if there is any circular reference uh, error then just ignore this so let's copy this and go over to our startup.cs file and let's add the new option for after services add mbc I'm going to format the code here and uh, this is that whenever the JSON parsing encounters the uh, reference circular reference error then just ignore the error and give us back the result 
so if I save this and jump back to the browser and uh, when I refresh of course the server is starting up and at this time we got the notification here we have a one notification so the count of notification is one and we have our data inside the user notification error so inside the user notification we have a property called notification notification and inside that notification we have our notification message so inside user notification we have notification object and inside the notification object we have got the text of the notification now let's display the count of this notification uh, right at this place so let's jump back to the code and uh, i'm going to i'm going to go inside the login partial which is inside the shared file so let's go here and just after the username let's add another list here so list and then i'm going to make a spawn here spawn and going to give it a class of base bootstrap base class and let's give it a id of a notification count notification count i'm going to copy this and let's go back to our site.js and once we get the result then we are going to get that notification count element and we are going to set the html of this notification count to our notification count let's save this and head over back to the browser and let's try and refresh and we have successfully got our notification count here so this has slightly aligned up the up uh, then of the other elements so let's bring this down to the level of the other elements so let's go back here and i'm going to add the another append the class here so let's say notification count notification count let's copy this name and if i click right click and inspect this element then let's first refresh refresh right click and inspect and let's click on this plus sign to add the new css rule here to the notification count class and if i say top and 5px and position relative then we can move that element so we are going to move this 11 pixel or let's say this looks better uh, 14 pixels from the top so let's just copy this from here and then go over to our css site.css and uh, we're going to add that class here dot notification dash count and let's save this head over back to the browser and let's refresh notification that dash count notification that dash count if you are, if the page doesn't refresh properly then we can go to our network tab and click on disable cache and then refresh again and then it should refresh so we have successfully uh, displayed our notification count to the user and in the next demo we will continue implementing our notification feature so this is the end of this demo thanks for watching and have a good day